Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Womblies. Today we're taking on Dag and Red, which is apparently a real thing. Um, we're going to talk about how to have a good marriage today. That was someone who requested that, so I thought I would bring in a very special guest. Me, Sarah Green. What is your relationship to me? I'm your wife. So we're going to talk about how to have a good marriage. I think that's awfully presumptuous. I know, right? It's a little presumptuous. How do they know we have a good marriage? I don't know. Well, but I think we do. Well, we are sitting in a single lazy boy together. We are sharing the lazy boy today for today's uh, video. We'll see if that the restriction of my right arm might affect my play. Okay. Um, by the way, we're still top of the league. Okay. Aren't well, you proud? Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, look, it's a great steal to start the game. So, Sarah, what do you think is the key to a great marriage? Well, the first tip is that when your husband says that he wants to play video games as his job, to spend your disbelief and go along with it. <laughs> I mean, do you really think that's part of a marriage, though? Like, like being willing to... Because, like, it must have... You, you must have thought it was... Oh, get in, get in, get in, get in! Oh! You must have thought it was a little weird when, not not so much this, but in 2007 when I was like, I'm going to do a video blog project with Hank. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was I was very supportive of that. Um, or at least, you know, I wasn't in the videos, but I was very supportive of it. Um, I think I think in general, if your if your spouse comes to you with an idea for something they want to do, even if even if you have your doubts, unless it's like dangerous for them, um, I think that it's probably better to let them give it a try and figure it out for themselves um, if it's a bad idea, you know. And occasionally, um, both of us have had ideas that the other thought was bad that turned out to be really good ideas. Like what? Um. Well, like I don't know. Like I think I've had I think I've had ideas for books that that, that you were dubious about at first that turned out to be okay. Yes, I think, and, and and you've had ideas for for shows that I was a little dubious about at first that turned out to be really good. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Like uh, like Sarah curated. Oh, you're offside. You are a cheater. You broke the rules. Sarah um, curated the, uh, the uh, an exhibition called Graphite that was about sort of non traditional uses of graphite, um, and, and I it's was kind of a. It's kind of a dumb idea. I started out dubious, but it turned out that was, I thought that was the best show you ever did, actually. Yeah. So far. Yeah. I'm sure there's better ones ahead. Um, so, okay, so that's a good, that's a good, that's a good, like, first starting point. By the way, it's nil-nil here. I think I am being a little bit, I, I, I am a little bit worse off because of my inability to move my right elbow. But to be fair, I've always been terrible. <laughs> um, no, 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 come back. What? It's okay. I'm it's good. Here. No, it's good. I'm going to score right now. Don't worry. Oh, ball, John Green. His positional sense is not what it used to be. Oh, ball, John Green is on this. Get side. it! Get it! Get it! Oh, oh! He's doing the Macarena. Oh. Is that what that is? I don't know. I'm proud to say I don't. I, I don't think I know what the Macarena is. Anyway, that pass went from ball, John Green to other John Green. So you know what we sing? What? John Greens, John Greens, bald another John Greens. They're the best forwards that Wimbledon has ever seen. Except so it didn't go from bald John Green to other John Green. So the my so bad. The Wimbley Wombleys have the same players as the Swidley Hoopers. No, Sarah, not all of the same players, but they have bald John Green and other John Green because they're both time wards, so they can travel through time and space, and so they can travel from FIFA to FIFA. And Ball John Green had actually already signed for AFC Wimbledon. Sometimes I feel like you don't necessarily watch all of the Hank Games videos. Um, Ball John Green had already signed for AFC Wimbledon because See, he... that's a good point. He that's started another part of, of having a good marriage, is having um, separate interests. You have to have separate interests. Yes. That's true. Yes. You gotta... I mean, it's important to share a lot, but, but it's, also, it's also important to, to cultivate your own things. you got to have a little bit. You, I, do, I, I actually really agree with that. It's important to have your own life because you don't want to be. Yeah, and also to encourage your partner in their, in their lives, you know. Yes. So, like, you, you are not a huge Liverpool Football Club supporter. I, that's, that's a fair characterization. But you... Um, totally support me watching Liverpool on Saturdays as long as I am taking care of the kids. That's true. That's true. <laughs> and even occasionally if I'm not taking care of the kids. Yeah. But not usually. Well, this is a great opportunity and it comes to nothing like so much effort in this world. <laughs> um, so what are other things? What I think, are other aspects of it? Well, I think that like we've been, we've been talking around what I was going to say, which is 
uh, like mutual generosity. It's really easy to assume the worst of someone um, or to assume that like, to, you know, to, so it's really easy to be like, oh, I, I assume that what you meant was worst possible thing you could have meant. Mm -hmm. But I think in general, like, things go well in all relationships, but especially in, like, the really central ones, like a marriage, when you assume the best. Right. You know? Right. When you, when you don't go to that place of, like, mutual resentment and, and just try to do generous things for each other. So, like, I think different people experience that differently, like... Like what, what, what you would find to be like a, a generous gift and what I would find to be a generous gift might be quite different. Right. But if we can, um, you know, speak our different love languages or whatever, oh, it's good. John. Sorry. I'm, I, I, I haven't even read that book actually, but I think that's an interesting <laughs> idea. It is. I can't. I haven't read it either, but it is interesting. Like, like I feel love when you do household chores. Right. Yeah, I know you do. And I feel love when I don't have to do those house pictures. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's just, I guess that's just a competing interest. I don't it know. Is, I don't know is. what we're going to do about that. Yeah. Um, I, don't think, I don't think it's going to work out, John. <laughs> We've really let uh, the foot off the gas here toward the end of the first half um, since we got the goal just because we're winning. Yeah. And then it's, you know. You don't want to make the other team feel bad. Well, you kind of do. Um, because goal difference matters, but also because I've been thinking about this a lot. Like, what is the ultimate point of soccer? Like, it's, it's ultimately meaningless, right? Right. But also all of human, all human endeavors are ultimately right. meaningless. Is meaningless. Ultimately. And not, maybe not every single thing, but, but, but certainly if you zoom out enough and you consider, like, the temporariness of humanity itself, like, right. a lot of stuff becomes meaningless. A lot of the stuff that we care about okay. so is empty of meaning. Yes. So I think, like, ultimately, you play for love and glory. Um, you know, <laughs> glory like glory is a terrible thing uh, to do anything for. No, I don't think so. Glory? Yeah, because it's all well, it's all it's all removed from it's all removed of meaning, right? Yeah, like, so glory like glory has built in like vanity and no, 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 not for glory of self, but for glory of club, for glory of shared endeavor. Mm. You know, so it's the diff. That's exactly the difference between say like playing tennis and playing soccer because it's not even it's not even about it's not just about you and it's not just it's not even right. just about the, the the boys and one woman who are on the field right it's also about um it's about the the club the hundred year history of 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 football in wimbledon and then having that all taken away and then and then bringing it back right um the way that they have so that's, i think like that that's, that's, that's why i liked playing soccer um in high school versus the other sports is because um, because it was because of the team endeavor, and right. also because the spectators were very far away. So, um, <laughs> you didn't you didn't feel feel their like beady little eyes on you all the time like I did. And did you see that basketball. pass? Did you see that pass? I did. That was glorious. And when I played goalie. Um, oh, then a terrible pass to follow it up. When I played goalie, the coach would always say if, if the uh, opposing team scored that it had to get by every other player before it got by you, <laughs> which is a little bit like um, uh, I, I know that I also was not a good goalie, so, uh, so that was also the problem. But, well, you're not, no offense, but, but you're not really. there's truth to it. You're not really tall enough to be well, a good goalie. Well, that's when I stopped being goalie is when my coach said, uh, you're a you're not getting any taller. You're not going oh! to You're not going to be goalie next season. Well, it's true and you I weren't was fine with that. You weren't getting any taller. Um that that is a disappointing finish for Mother John Green. Yeah. That he's got to get that ball on target, don't you agree? I agree. He's supposed to be a finisher. Mhm. Mm I hired him to be my striker, not to be the guy who heads the ball slightly out of bounds. But but marriage, to bring it back around, oh, right. is about shared endeavor. Yeah, I I totally agree with you. Like shared because uh, it's like it's, it, it, there is the like romantic, um, googly-eyed part of marriage, which is awesome. But like there's a lot of um, basically like running running a family together right. which is essentially like similar to a small business you have to pay your bills you have to you know yeah it's just like you and then children yeah and the, yeah who are your kind of quasi employees <laughs> um when I you like get this when you get married you've basically agreed to start a business together that will never oh oh show me your uh, car wheels that was kind of a weak
Great cartwheel. Oh, that's a beautiful cartwheel. Look at other John Green proving that he too can be a great player for AFC Wimbledon. Ball John Green has gotten the bulk of the goal so far, but that was a fantastic finish. Oh, very good. You know what? He responded, Sarah. He responded to my comment that I hired him to be a finisher, mm -hmm. not to um, not to uh, head the ball out of bounds. Can I sing you a song? Sure. He's big, he's tough, he has a brilliant puff. Other John Green, other John Green. He just got caught up there. He almost had a breakaway again. AFC Wimbledon dominating the play. Dag and Red suffering under our mighty strength. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I agree. It should be about shared endeavor. And that's, mm -hmm. when it, that's when it's most fulfilling is like when you feel like you're on the same page and right. you feel like you're doing something that you both, like, yeah, you're like making stuff together, right. whether that's like kids or dinner or whatever it is. Yeah. And, uh... You know, the back back to the generosity thing. Like, um, you know, it, it, it is satisfying to make someone else's life easier and better. It like, is generosity is is helpful. Generosity, for the giver. yeah, it feels good. It feels good to be generous. It always um, sometimes, not always. That said, there does come a point at which it starts to be replaced by resentment. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you can't, you can't. I got fouled. You can't always be sort of merely, um, merely generous. Right. You know. Like, um, there is that feeling of, like, I give and I give and I give and I never get anything back. But sometimes you have that feeling because you, you aren't. That, no, do you? <laughs> no. Pause. <laughs> pause, pause, pause. Um, yeah, I mean, that feeling of, like, giving and giving and giving and never getting back can be very frustrating. But I think largely that's a result of, like, seeing how your partner gives, you know, like, understanding what giving looks like to them and then kind of having a, being able to have a conversation about that. Mm -hmm. And the last thing that I, on that topic, the last thing that I would say is communication. Like, mm. I know that that's an obvious thing, but, like, it's when you stop talking. In any, in any Im important relationship, it's when you stop talking openly that the problems really start because then it can become kind of like a cycle of not talking not expressing yourself. not expressing right. right but again fine line between communicating and nagging well yeah i mean but there's a difference between like communicating feelings about trash pickup and communicating <laughs> larger feelings about you know feeling disconnected or f being right. afraid of abandonment or whatever you know like right. I, to me like you don't ever, I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I definitely understand what you're saying, though. Like, you don't want to be naggy. Right. Even about, like, and you don't want to appear. It's difficult because, like, even, even, no, oh, no, oh, everything worked out better than expected. Um, yeah, you never want to appear merely. We did it! We did it! We won the game! Hooray! High five! Hey, thanks for being uh, a special guest on Hank Games. I thought you did a great you're job. You're welcome. Yeah. It, was, it was fun. I'm just trying to be really generous. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Mutual generosity. Mm -hmm. Best wishes.